My grandmother, who passed away when I was 13 years old, was actually a model. She modeled her entire life. And I have some clippings of her work um, that was very interesting for me. I was only 13 when she passed, so photography didn't come into my hands until college. Uh, I wish grandma was still alive when I was learning this beautiful, wonderful craft because she had a ton of friends in the industry that could have helped me, but that didn't exist. However, there's a lot of her and that, that, that cleanliness of how photography was done back then. That is going to be my legacy for here on out. Just because you're photographing with a digital camera doesn't mean your images need to look digital. It doesn't mean you should be sloppy on how you work because you'll fix it later. It doesn't mean you didn't pose somebody correctly to look a little thinner, so let's go liquefy her. It doesn't mean any of that. What it means is I want you to pay attention with your eyes that you're so blessed to have this camera in your hands and what you have in your head and where you point the camera, how you do an angle, how you light the subject, how you motivate what is in front of you, all of that is what makes you a pro photographer. I know some excellent photographers and they call themselves amateurs just because they're not getting paid or it's not their full-time job. That is so far from the truth. You can be a pro photographer with the right eye, with the right knowledge, and the experience just means you're doing it over and over and over again. So it looks like every time you put the camera to your face, you're ready to rock. You know what I mean? So a couple years back when hashtags became a big deal on Twitter and then Instagram adapted it, um, I was teaching at a photography seminar and I was explaining to these people what hashtags are really meant to do, how they can group a thought or an image or a color. You know, if you do, if you do a search on hashtag red shoes, you should only see pictures of red shoes of some way, shape or form that's using your hashtags correctly. So fast forward to right now, it's 2020. And a couple of years ago, I realized, you know, if I'm going to do all this crazy posting, no matter what platform comes out, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever is going to be able to use, even Google, you can do a search on Google for hashtags. I wanted to create my own hashtag that was not only made for me, but it also summed up exactly who I am as an artist and what you would expect my images to look like. Hence became... Hashtag simple, clean, beautiful. It took a while for me to figure this out because stop for a minute and ask yourself, how would you describe your own work? How would you describe what goes on the capture of your film is the relationship you have with your clients in front of you? How do you sum that up? Can you do that? Stop for a minute and think about your own hashtag. What would you hashtag yourself? your style, your brand? What would define you in a hashtag? So go back a few months when it was cold here in New Orleans and we had a bridal session. This is Miss Brittany Perrier. She's already a beautiful girl to begin with, but her mom brought this fur um, throw for her to wear in between me taking pictures so she stays warm. Well, she puts this fur on and I'm like, ooh. She goes, should I take it off? I'm going, no, no, no. Ooh, meaning, wow, this changes everything. I know we have your bridal dress to take care of here, but I really love this fur.
it got dark in the park really fast man i can't wait till the sun changes its time you know down for eight o'clock not five o'clock yeah but you know ever since i got the fuji xt3 i swear i've been photographing um things differently than i used to because of that screen i'm able to get angles i couldn't get before but the way that camera works with focusing and the quality of the image i just love how working with simple clean beautiful looks as good as it does in that camera so look when the wedding finally came i was so excited to add to the portfolio of awesomeness and i gotta be honest man they did not let me down If you are coming to New Orleans and you're looking for a photographer, well, I'm your guy. Uh, you can absolutely follow me on my Instagram page. You can join the Facebook group. And as we all say around here, stay focused on your dreams because what else are you doing? <laughs> Thanks for being here, you guys. Next video is gonna be interesting. I wanna change the format in February. It's coming, y'all. It's coming.